Hi everybody, it is Mary Beth Haynes with The Power of Pets and I wanted to shoot this video here for you. It just came to me as I was driving to an appointment. I had about a 45 minute drive to an appointment this morning and I have something that's really been on my mind um, and I wanted to share it with you if, if you would be so honored to, to have me share. I, Those of you who have been following my posts here in The Power of Pets over the last week know that Mr. Mushi um, hadn't been well. In fact, uh, one week ago, uh, tomorrow, Troy and I uh, had to make a really important decision and we almost decided that it was Mushi's time for end of life. Um, what happened was we found him uh, with a very breathing um, quite quickly. Um, his uh, his eyes were twitching, his his head was twitching, it was almost like he was having a stroke. And we called the emergency vet, Dr. Aziz, who came, because it was a Sunday, and um, Dr. Aziz was amazing. Um, he was very patient, and we decided that um, we needed to make a decision. Mushi's heart rate was so high, it was like 200 beats per minute, and it he was in distress, and we needed to make a decision as to what to do. Uh, we decided that we weren't going to have him euthanized yet because before Dr. Aziz left, his heart rate did go down. Um, but we still needed to do some treatment. So Dr. Williams, who's Mushi's veterinarian at Martindale Animal Clinic, took over on Monday morning. And so throughout this week, Mushi has been going through a series of tests. We found that um, there was signs of pancreatitis and also a very, very, very high thyroid. Now, Mushi has had thyroid uh, issues um, for the last, I think, year, year and a half, and we had it on, a, on an even keel and things were pretty good. And what I wanted to talk about today was guilt. Um, a lot of you have reached out to me to say how guilty you have felt over uh, something that has happened with your pet um, when they've passed away or something that has happened with their health and how I always share with you how guilt is such an important part of healing and how guilt is normal and natural and some some tools that you can use on how to move through guilt. And the reason why I'm doing this video right now uh, is because I right now am feeling a tremendous amount of guilt for what's happened to Mr. Mushi. And I wanted to share with you because um, I'm, I'm taking the tools that I share with you and I'm, I'm using those tools in my healing. Hi everybody, I am back. So it's kind of funny how I was starting to get emotional there in my video and then my camera <laughs> had cut out. Um, so anyways, I've brought things inside and uh, I just wanted to finish up this video here. Um, on guilt and, and before I finish I want to thank you for being here if you're still watching this up to this point in the video you are um, resonating with the message that I have to share and I just want to thank you for that because if you're resonating with my message I'm resonating with you uh, the power of pets is all about standing beside each other arm in arm and arm supporting each other unconditionally so I really hope um, and my my intention of this video is for you to find solace and peace if there is something that you are experiencing with um, with guilt when it comes to your pet. So when I had left off on my last video when I was in the car I had mentioned to you that um, Mushi, uh, what had happened with Mushi and how I was feeling um, and how I am feeling a lot of guilt for what has happened and I'll just explain why. About a month and a half ago uh, Mushi has had hyperthyroid uh, in the past. He's been on medication for about a year, a year and a half, I think. And about a month and a half ago, two months ago, he had some routine blood work done. Uh, his his thyroid had gone high again. So, um, you know, we always, if it does, we just give him a medication uh, increase and then it seems to do the trick. And But it's never resulted in what has happened um, just in the last week with his heart rate and everything. And so um, my husband, Troy, and I, we live very busy lives. Uh, our businesses are extremely busy, and we rely on systems uh, to be able to 
to get through our days. And so instead of getting Mushi's medication out each day where we have to get the right dosage and put everything together, what I do is I do dossets and I actually do two weeks at a time. So every two weeks I do a new dosset and then every day if Troy and I are giving Mushi his medication, we don't have to worry about the dosage, it's already pre-dosed, everything is there ready to go. So as I mentioned about a month and a half ago, uh, two months ago, he had a, a slight increase in his medication and I did the two-week dosset. Things got really, really busy for me, as they often do with business, which is a good thing. However, it wasn't as good for this particular situation because when I went to refill Mr. Mushi's dossets for the next two weeks, I misplaced in my mind his increase and I set his dosage up for his old dosage therefore he wasn't getting as much as he should have been getting and then within about two weeks time he had the episode of his heart rate and us having to make a decision of whether to end his life because of suffering and I cannot help but have this strong feeling inside that if I hadn't have made that error in dosing his medication for those two weeks that this wouldn't have happened, that he wouldn't have felt the pain that he would have felt, and that we would never have had to go through all of this testing with him. So I'm just being genuine and I'm just being very much me and real with you because I want you all to know, Power of Pets community, that what happens when guilt occurs is very very real and you can hear me say all the time that these are the tools to use and this is what you can do and things like that and I go through it too we all go through it so you know what I did I've actually gone back to my book the power of pets seven effective tools to heal from pet loss and I went to the page on guilt and if I can just share it with you on page 52 it says here, guilt is a feeling that is felt by many pet lovers, even if they didn't do anything wrong. Often the memory of the last moments of your pet's life may play over and over in our minds. Now, in this particular situation, Mr. Mushi is still here with us, thank God. Um, but again, we almost made the decision for euthanasia. And so this, this does, in my mind, pertain to what is, what is happening right now. <clears throat> Our pets depend on us to take care of them. They need us to feed them, ensure that they have enough water, and the necessary things that they require on a daily basis. For dogs, we need to make sure that they get outside to walk and move around. For cats, they need to have their food and fresh water available to them. Fish need to have a clean tank with just enough food, and we get used to being needed by our pets. Mushi relies on us to be able to give his medication to him every day. And if we give him the wrong dose or we don't give it to him, his life is in our hands. And that is why I'm experiencing these feelings of guilt. One more thing here, and this is the tool that I'm using to help me with this in making Mr. Mushi's life the very best that it can, is reminding myself that I did not deliberately harm him, that it was an accident, and I most certainly would have done things differently if I would have known that this was the outcome. And how I write it in the book here is reminding yourself that you did not deliberately harm your pet and that it was an accident is a very important thing. You most certainly would have done things differently if you had known the, that the outcome would be what would happen. But we are human and life has unknowns which can be very extremely difficult to grasp. So I'm taking these tools and I am using them wholeheartedly because you know what? I've also learned that when we move forward, it's how, it's what we choose to do with this. So I can sit here and feel very sorry for myself and I can say that I made these mistakes and that's going to interfere with the remaining time that I have left with Moosh for however much longer he has. And thank goodness he's doing better now and things are good and we were able to catch this in time. It's what I've learned from this experience that I will bring forward with me each and every day. Number one, no matter how busy I get, I will always double check his medication. Number two, each and every day I'm going to remember to spend time with him 
a little bit more time every single day. I make sure that I'm doing that now because life is precious. And this scared me. <laughs> it really, really scared me. So I take from this many, many lessons. And the third lesson that I just want to share with you is that if this hadn't have happened, I wouldn't have been able to share this with you. And if you're watching this right now, there might be something that has resonated with you in my message that you can put forward into your healing journey. You can make sure that you're doing something in the, in the best way possible for your pet. And if your pet has passed away and you're feeling these feelings of guilt, perhaps there's some things in this message that you can put in uh, to move forward with healing to remember your intention was of love for your pet the whole time. So thank you for listening. I appreciate you being here. And again, guilt is very, very important. It's almost a, a piece of healing that we need to experience to be able to move from grief into mourning. Mourning is our active healing process. It's what we actively do. And these feelings of guilt is part of my mourning process. And so again, even though Mushi is still here with me, it might have happened where he wouldn't be. And a contributing factor was because of what I had done with his medication. Yes, he is a senior. Yes, he has other health complications that are going on. So was it solely that? I don't know. But I know that that did attribute to what had happened. And so I'm going to make sure that I move forward in giving him the best life I possibly can.